All right, guys, I bumped into a sort of a big problem. I don't know if it's a major problem or what, but I got a water pump leak, a coolant leak. So let me just show you some stuff here on the engine. Off the hood. Hang on, guys, I'm going to need two hands for this. All right, so <clears throat> I don't think we can see down there very well and what's going on. So let me just take you down underneath. <sighs> okay. Now. There's the water pump. All that stained stuff in there is and it's just flying everywhere oh no sorry excuse me I guess I'm half stupid here I don't know what this thing is right here something to do with the air conditioning I think I'm not too sure but let's see if I can get that's the water pump right in there it's leaking up above and dripping down onto this thing here and then I do have some small oil leaks but I got stuff dripping all over underneath here now So if you're inclined to do these things yourself, you can save a pile of money. I don't know, guys. It's a big job, and then it's uh, Wednesday today. And they can't get it in until Friday, so I can't run it very much. Otherwise, there's a lot of play in the water pump now, and it could the bearing could break down. So let's get out from underneath here. This is too much to bear. All right, it's the night before I take my van in to get the uh, water pump uh, changed, uh, serpentine belt changed, check for water leaks and flush. Um, hey guys, nomadic van man coming at you from an undisclosed location. I just took my van in this morning uh, to get the water pump and uh, water leakage looked at. So I'm sitting here and uh, I don't know, maybe we're going to have to start looking for newer vehicles. Uh, 1995 is just a little too old. It's uh, Parts are getting obsolete, can't get the parts anymore. I can, I can get the water pump and I can get the serpentine belt for it, but that's just about it. Uh, there's a couple of my subscribers that uh, do that kind of work. Uh, they're from across the pond there. Ali Mack and a few other ones. Um, they know what, uh, what the problems are here and what I'm, gonna, what I'm going through. So anyways, guys, we'll come back at you when I know a little bit more about how much it's going to cost and uh, how long it's going to take. I... They just gave me a call and said it's going to be between five and $600. So I'm pretty pleased with that. All right, guys, before leaving the shop here, I just wanted to show you uh, the water pump. I have a new water pump and a new serpentine belt put on today. And let me just see if I can get my arm in here and have a look at this down there somewhere is the new water pump guys I don't even know if you can see that we'll have to get in underneath you a little bit later on this is called white specialty automotive and trucking they did an excellent job on my van 
uh, tested it. It took all day, of course, but I'm more than happy, more than satisfied with the work. And, uh, all right. Thanks to uh, Duncan and Jason for uh, doing the work for me, getting it done all in one day. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. And uh, we'll come back and we'll send some uh, business your way. Thanks, guys. Okay, guys, I have since had my water pump replaced. You can still see the uh, staining and stuff. But I have a new serpentine belt put on. But most of all, where is it? There, that nice shiny new piece in there. New water pump. Absolutely no leaks now whatsoever. I've got the oil leaks and things here like most old vehicle old vehicles. I have um, uh, transmission fluid leaking there. Other than that though, man. Thanks for coming out, guys, and watching the videos. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Now's your opportunity. Ring that bell so that you can get notified next time I put one out. Thanks, guys.